another room decor DIY ideas video and once again it's inspired by Pinterest and Tumblr because that's pretty much what fits into my room the best so that's what you're gonna get. Please bear with me because I filmed this twice already and the first time my air purifier was on I was making a lot of noise for the whole video and I didn't even realize and then the second time I turned it off so I was sneezing through the whole thing and now we're just I'm a big puffy mess so third time's a charm I think. Anyway, you guys seem to really like these types of videos and I wanted to make more for you. Plus, I enjoy making these things so much and I do them even if I wasn't going to film them anyway, so why not just film them and put them on YouTube? So without further ado, let's go straight on to the video. This first DIY is water marbled candle holders and you can water marble anything, it's so simple. All you need is nail polish, a bowl of water, a stick like a cuticle stick and I used this mason jar and I started by dripping the nail polish in and it sits on top of the water and make a mess of this, make some weird patterns because you're going to mess it up anyway with the stick. And then I took the stick and messed up the colours so they created this amazing marble pattern and I took the mason jar and very gently put it in the layer of nail polish and it came out like this. The first attempt was so blobby so I did it again on the little candle holder and it worked so much better because I made the colours spread further and it was less blobby. But I think the end result is super cool and is really unique. Next DIY is also really simple and don't worry if you don't have the things to make it with, you can make these so easily by yourself. I took these little photo frame Polaroid thingies from Michael's Craft Store, they were in the sale, and then these little scrapbooking things from Michael's Craft Store as well, and a bunch of photos that I got printed, and I used them to create this little string of frames, so I measured them up against the Polaroid photo frame and cut them out. And then I stuck them in with some Mod Podge because the little tape thingies didn't work. You could easily make these out of cardboard box, like maybe a cereal box, and then some craft book paper and they'd be the same. And then I just took some twine and threaded these on and they're so cute! I love them so much. I then added some little decorative things on top of them with some glue, so I added these little arrow bunting thingies and these flowers with washi tape and this little thing that said smile and I think it just added something else to it to make it super colourful and then I strung it above my bed and there you go! This sneaky little book hides my cell phone when it's charging so it doesn't make a complete mess on my desk and I think it looks really adorable. I took this book from the thrift store, I don't know what book it is but I just took it and I destroyed it. I outlined my iPhone and then I used a ruler to make the shape and I cut it bit by bit. I didn't do it page by page, I probably took 10 pages at a time and it took me about 10 goes but it's better than using a knife, it's much safer and it only took me like 15 minutes to do the whole thing and I kept doing it until my phone fit in perfectly and then I covered the front of the book with this decorative paper and some Mod Podge to make it look really pretty. You want a hardback book for this so it looks really effective and you can decorate it as you want and they're so cheap in the thrift store, it was only 99p and there you have it and it looks super cute when your phone is charging. This one's more upcycling than start from fresh DIY but I found this little storage container in the thrift store and it was a boring brown colour so I took a plastic bag and I spray painted it silver. I just wanted to show you that you can find anything in the thrift store and you can make it match your room decor and it can look so cute. This cost me 95p and I already had the spray paint and it looks really effective on my desk holding my glasses and some bits and pieces. This photo frame DIY is 
so simple and it uses my favorite thing, washi tape. So I took a bunch of strips and I pre-cut them to make it easier for myself. And this frame from the thrift store for 99 pence, once again. And I just wrapped them around in this little striped pattern and I kept going. The edges were super difficult, so you might want to plan that in advance because I kind of messed them up a little bit. But it's really effective and it's such a cheap DIY and it looks super cute. And now we're at the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you're going to make any of these or anything like that, you can comment down below. Let me know that you liked it by giving it a thumbs up and I will definitely make more of these videos in the future. And if you do make any of these things, please, please show me on Twitter or Instagram and that would make me super happy. Like I just, when you guys comment and you say that you've made something in one of my videos, I'm like, someone actually made something that I made? Like what? That's so cool. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here because that is all I have to say today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>